Greetings! Today we will be taking a look at my current largest colony of ants housed in this target ants form aquarium. They are a fairly well known species of ant that with just a glance most can immediately identify. These ants are none other than Fedolia dentata, or commonly known as big headed ants. The name big headed ant refers to the mages found within the colonies of these ants, whose heads are abnormally large and disproportionate to the rest of the ant's body. These majors are one of two casts of ants found within this colony. The other ants are the miners, and they are the most abundant cast found within the nest of big headed ants. There's also the queen, or in my case, the queens. They are the least abundant, but the most important members of the colony. Each ant has a specific job to perform. The queen's job is to lay eggs, nothing more, nothing less. In fact, if the queen lays less and less eggs or loses her fertility as a whole, she will simply be put to use in other ways, most cases killed and then fed to the larvae of the colony. The mages of the colony have roughly three jobs. Store food for the colony by acting as repletes, defending the colony from intruders, and putting their big heads to use by cutting through the tough exoskeletons of other insects. The miners have a lot of work to do as well. They care for the queens, majors, brood, and themselves. They are the ones who forage for food and alert the colony when food or a threat is nearby. They also take out the trash, which is by far the worst job an ant can have due to the amount of bacteria trash piles collect. As an ant keeper, I play a role in the ants' lives as well. I have to feed, clean, water, and reapply the barrier that keeps this colony contained. I've tried vegetable oil, baby powder rubbing alcohol mix, and the previous owner even tried Fluon, but none of which seemed to work. The only one that worked so far is avocado oil, but some ants still manage to make it across. So if you know any other methods that can possibly help keep these ants contained, let me know in the comment section below this video. When it comes to feeding, it's really easy. I just drop in a mealworm and the ants do the rest. <laughs> Look at these two, fighting each other. With a colony consisting of over 1,000 individuals and three egg-laying queens, it's fair to say that live insects are no longer an issue. I also give this colony a feeding dish with fish flakes, which they use on occasion to feed themselves and the young. In the liquid feeder, I have Utah Ant Shop Ant Juice. The ants love it, but the only downside is that the ants' restroom spots show up blue and kind of throws off the color a little bit. It's really nothing to worry about though, only looks a little unsightly. Taking out the trash is messy as always, so I use an aspirator to suck up the dead ants and debris. Any escaped ants or ants that get sucked up into the aspirator are frozen and then tossed into my decomposition bin. This is where microorganisms such as springtails and beneficial mites will further decompose the trash that the ants leave behind. I water this colony in two different ways. First is via the water tower. I suck up water into the syringe and plunge the syringe tip into the tube leading to the water tower. Here the water will evaporate, condense onto the metal mesh where the ants will then drink from. The second method of watering is through this piece of tubing known as a nestmate. I just fill the nestmate with water, plug it with the rubber starper, and attach it to the nest. The ants will then drink from the metal mesh which prevents the water from flooding the nest.
And that's my biggest colony of ants. Apart from the nest itself, the ants that inhabit it are very special to me. They were a gift I got some months back from a friend who I haven't seen in some time. I can't wait for him to see this video and to see how this colony is coming along. They are a handful for sure, but I can't see myself ever getting rid of them. Especially with this colony having three egg laying queens. I can only imagine how much more the colony will grow over the course of this year. They might even produce the lates again in the spring and summer. We just gotta wait and see. So make sure you're subscribed and that the bell is on so that you don't miss the next video on a colony of ants that only eats meat. Leave a like on this video and before you leave, tell me, what is your favorite species of Fadoli? Let me know in the comment section and I'll do my best to reply to as many comments as I can. If you would like to purchase any of the items mentioned in this video, I'll leave links to them all in the description down below. That's all for now and until next time, lights, camera, and...